In the world of Toriko, the gourmet world makes up 70% of the planet. There, eight of the most powerful beasts rule the eight continents or areas that make up the gourmet world. They are known as the Eight Kings. The Eight Kings are powerful beasts at the top of their respective food webs and rule over the eight continents that are called areas in the gourmet world. It should be noted that the Eight Kings are not the only animals, they are individual species. It's just that each king is the strongest one among its own species as well. They have several of the highest capture levels in the series. Capture levels are a classification used by the IGO, or the International Gourmet Organization, to determine how difficult it is to acquire a certain ingredient. While multiple factors can contribute to determining capture levels, such as strength or the difficulty of the environment, as a standard measuring basis, a strong beast that has a capture level of 1 means that 10 professional hunters would be needed to attain it. The Eight Kings are renowned for their immense strength and their ability to sense dangers around the world that can threaten their survival, which is how they have been able to remain as kings for so long. Each beast rules over one continent in the gourmet world. In this video, I will discuss each of the Eight Kings and its abilities. I'll be going in order of continents from Area 8 to 1. This might seem counterintuitive, as opposed to going from Area 1 to 8, but this makes more sense to me because this is the order in which the kings were introduced in the story. Area 8 is ruled by Horse King Heracles, with a capture level of 6200. The Horse King is a phantom beast called a Heroc, with a height of 22,000 meters and weight of 2 trillion tons. As a Heroc, Heracles is immortal and capable of living for many years without aging, as well as recovering or regenerating from damages it takes. Heracs are also known as aerovores meaning that they only need to eat air in order to survive. In other words, the act of breathing can be a form of eating for them. Heracles in particular can fight for one month on a single breath, and if it doesn't fight, it can live for one year using that single breath. Heracles has immense power. A single footprint made by the Horse King thousands of years ago can leave behind an incredible aura that can intimidate any creature near the mark. One of its attacks, called the Hera Kick, was claimed to be strong enough to launch its opponents into outer space. The most impressive ability of Heracles, though, is its sheer lung capacity. In a single breath, Heracles can inhale approximately 300 million cubic kilometers of air, which is approximately the volume of seawater in the Atlantic Ocean. Heracles can either breathe in all the surrounding air around itself with a move called Destroy Breath which creates a complete vacuum around itself and deprives air from all living creatures within range, causing them to wither and die. Alternatively, Heracles can expel all the breath that it has contained within itself against its opponent to create a blast of extremely pressurized air strong enough to pierce through the surface of the earth and then come out on another entirely different continent. Heracles only exhales 10% of the air it inhales, creating low air pressure. The exhaled air contains toxins. When these toxins become part of clouds through updrafts, they form special rains that fall down on the continent, which is why Area 8 is called the Rain Continent. This means that Heracles can affect the very climate of the continent of Area 8 itself. In order to give birth to a healthy foal, Heracles must eat a special type of fruit called air, Air contains highly concentrated, highly nutritious air, and it is the salad dish of the legendary Acacia's full course. After giving birth to a healthy newborn foal, Heracles' hair color changes. However, its abilities and status as an A king remain unchanged. The name Heracles refers to the legendary Greek hero, also known as Hercules, who was the son of Zeus and had immense strength. Area 7 is ruled by monkey king Bambina with a capture level of 6,000. Bambina is a mammal king species called Hapalbun. It's also known as a Kintamandril, with a height of 150 centimeters and weight of 25 tons. Bambina is the smallest beast out of the eight kings, and from its appearance, Bambina may seem playful and harmless. However, Bambina's playful nature is actually part of what makes it such a terrifying beast. Bambina itself lives on 100G Mountain, a mountain with no air and at its peak has 100 times stronger gravity than ground level. Bambina loves to play games. For example, the Monkey King enjoys casually slicing a mountain with its tail, grabbing said mountain, 
and throwing across the ocean like a skipping stone. The mountain skips across the entire planet until it becomes nothing more than a small piece of rock that comes back to the Monkey King. When sleeping, Bambina enjoys jumping into the air and reaching the thermosphere within seconds in order to enjoy good sleep beneath the stars. Additionally, Bambina is able to produce a cloud of its feces that is called the Kinto Unko that creatures can ride on as a camping monster, which allows creatures to safely pass through the 100G mountain range that is devoid of air. The Kinto Unko is based on the Kinton cloud that Sun Wukong was set to fly around on. The Monkey King is the most mischievous beast out of the Eight Kings and loves to play games. When fighting opponents, Bambina is also generally lighthearted, and it enjoys fighting in order to have the most fun. When Bambina faces extreme situations though, the web-like restraints around its body are released to reveal its true form, that is wing-like flaps under its arms. A single tail swipe from Bambina during its released form has enough force to shatter a satellite in space debris orbiting the planet. It can also release its appetite energy through its mouth to send its foes flying into the air. Bambina stands at the top of the social hierarchy in Area 7, as determined by a monkey martial art style known as Enbu. Enbu involves controlling every single cell in one's body to work together to maximize the body's ability. Despite this mastery, Bambina does not take an active role in ruling over Area 7, and instead allows the four Enbu masters to rule over the east, west, south, and northern parts of Area 7. Enbu is also known as the Monkey Dance. The Monkey King can perform 1,000 different forms of the Monkey Dance within the span of 10 seconds, and only individuals that have power equal to the Monkey King are able to perform the Monkey Dance with it. The Monkey Dance is part of the process to obtain a special ingredient called pear, which forms a Cassius soup dish. Pear is actually the Monkey King's testicles which is why Bambina species is called a balboon, or a quintamandril, due to their noticeably protruding testicles. This is because many years ago, the Monkey King's ancestors drank the original source of the Earth's soup pear, absorbing the ingredients' nutrients into their own bodies until the soup ran dry. Animal testicles are eaten in real life in various countries. For example, Canada has a dish called the Rocky Mountain Oysters that is made of bull testicles. Bambina's original name is Bambino. It got its name from its original mate, Bambina, that passed away. The monkey dance, in turn, is a dance it used to do with its mate. The grave of Bambina's mate is located at the core of 100G Mountain, so Bambina actually constantly watches over its mate's grave, demonstrating its dedication to its deceased lover. Therefore, despite its initial appearance of immaturity, Bambina actually has a strong commitment of love towards its mate. In a way, Pear is a symbol of Bambina's manhood by allowing it to connect with its dead lover, for it allows the Monkey King to do the dance it used to do with its lover. Also, eating Pear itself allows someone to view the world of souls as well as change sexes. As a side note, it should be noted that Bambina's capture level of 6000 refers to its capture level when it's in its restrained form and its body is covered in webs. When its webs are released and it becomes its true form, it's likely that its capture level is higher. If I had to estimate, I would say its capture level in its true form is around 6,300, using the other eight kings as reference. The name Bambina means child in Italian. Bambina is the feminine form of the word, while Bambino is the masculine form. Area 6 is ruled by Whale King Moon, with a capture level of 6,600. The Whale King is a mammal beast called a black hole whale, with a height of 2,500 meters, length of 10,000 meters, and weight of 1 trillion 500 billion tons. For comparison, the blue whale, the largest living animal in our world, is on average 24 meters long and weighs 110 tons. That means that Moon is over 460 times longer and over 13,636,363 times heavier than a blue whale. Moon is officially the most powerful beast among the eight kings and it has the highest capture level among them as well. The mere fact that Moon became active was enough for the rest of the Eight Kings to respond by starting to become active themselves. The Whale King's body's surface resembles craters that are found on the surface of the actual Moon. This is actually a shell that was likely formed from a meteorite that fell into the Black Triangle. 
a stretch of ocean at the heart of Area 6. This would have been possible thanks to Moon's main ability of absorption. Moon can consume any and all matter that enters the Black Triangle. Moon itself is usually not even aware of this absorption due to the sheer scale of matter it can consume. Its outer shell was therefore probably formed by Moon trying to consume a massive meteorite, but the meteorite was too big for Moon to absorb completely and became part of its shell. The Black Triangle is likely a reference to the real-life Bermuda Triangle, where sea vessels have gone missing. While Moon generally absorbs matter passively, when the Whale King actively seeks out prey to eat, its mouth becomes a black hole, such that even light is unable to escape its gravitational pull. Only the fish another, which is Acacia's fish dish, can escape this force by swimming beyond the speed of light. The prey that Moon consumes is deposited into the world of souls, where there is no constant state of space and time, and souls with weak appetites can end up losing their sense of self. When its outer meteorite shell is broken, Moon's true form reveals itself, which resembles a blue whale. This form can fire appetite energy from its mouth, while maintaining its primary ability of consumption as well. Moon is possibly a reference to the mythical beast known as Leviathan that rules the sea and can devour almost anything. The name Moon most likely refers to the moon-sized meteorite that forms its outer shell. Area 5 is ruled by the Deer King with a capture level of 6,450. The Deer King is a mammal beast called a Sky Deer with a height of 10,000 meters and a weight of 8 trillion tons. The Deer King's name was not mentioned in the series, so it will be referred to simply as the Deer King. The Deer King's mane and back make up a forest known as the Food Region Forest, where many strong beasts with an average capture level of 4,000 live. These mighty beasts will protect the Deer King from intruders. This makes the Food Region Forest one of the most dangerous locations in the gourmet world. The Deer King itself generally has a calm disposition and does not directly fight. When truly angered though, the Deer King unleashes its terrifying power to create special back channels. Back channels are a type of dimension that lies between the physical world and the world of souls. Normally, back channels can slow the flow of time within its space. While time is slowed, one ages at a normal pace. For example, if 10 days inside a back channel equals one day in the physical world, if one were to spend 10 days inside the back channel, one would only age by one day. However, in the Deer King's case, while the flow of time compared to the outside physical world is the same, one ages at an extremely accelerated pace. Thus, even if only seconds pass by, one's body will age by thousands of years. In addition, the Deer King can allow other beasts to enter this special back channel to fight its enemy without the beast's aging, which essentially means that an enemy would have to fight both the rapid aging effect along with the ridiculously strong beasts that are only outmatched by the eight kings. The Deer King can also fire gourmet energy from its eyes as a means of attack. News is the meat dish of Acacia's full course and is located in the food region forest. Eating news allows someone to create back channels, and while it is not officially stated, based on context clues in the story, it can be inferred that similar to the jewel meat and the regal mammoth, news is a part of the deer king's body that can be attained without killing the sky deer, which is also the case for the jewel meat and the regal mammoth. While there is no official name for the Deer King, one possible name I came up with is Eichthyrnir, sorry if I butchered that pronunciation, which is a mythical deer in Nordic mythology that lives on the world tree Yggdrasil, or Yggdrasir. Another idea is Sanctuary, due to how its back and mane serve as a location for beasts to live. In turn, these beasts protect the Deer King, while at the same time the Deer King can create a space that can decimate its foes. Area 4 is ruled by the Snake King, with a capture level of 6310. It is a reptile beast called a mother snake with a length of 220,000 kilometers and a weight of 1 quadrillion 500 trillion tons. For reference, 220,000 kilometers is roughly a circumference of the planet Earth in Torico, where it is said that the mother snake can wrap its body around the entire planet. The snake king's name is also not mentioned, so it will be referred to as the snake king. Due to its immense size, most mistake the Snake King's scales as a giant wall. Those that can see its head and ominous eyes are doomed to meet their ends as the mother snake's prey. The Snake King is able to move its long, flexible body to such an extent that it can raise its head to reach wild beasts in outer space. 
it can also swallow its prey faster than the speed of light, such that the prey does not even realize that it has been swallowed whole until it begins to dissolve in the highly corrosive digestive fluids in the snake king's body. When its prey is truly dangerous, the mother snake can use mother's lock, where it wraps its incredibly long body into a ball around the section of the stomach that contains the prey, preventing any form of escape. The snake king can then raise the concentration of its digestive fluids to the utmost limit to disintegrate its prey. Also, many years ago, when the snake king fought with the whale king in Area 6, the clash was powerful enough to leave behind raging horizontal tornadoes called mother tornadoes. Since the snake king can move faster than the speed of light, it explains how it was able to survive against the black hole that moon can create. Unlike the other A kings so far, the connection between the snake king and Acacia's full course is unclear. Area 4 contains Earth, which is Acacia's dessert. It is possible that the Snake King guards the Gourmet Garden, where Earth grows. This could be a biblical reference to the Garden of Eden, where a serpent convinces Eve to disobey God. If I were to give a name to the Snake King, one idea would be Normungard, or the mythical sea serpent that is said to awaken when Ragnarok occurs. Another possible idea of the Snake King's name is Flash, due to its faster than light speed and how its prey are unaware that they have been consumed until it's too late. Area 3 is ruled by the Crow King, with a capture level of 6,000. The Crow King is a bird beast called an Emperor Crow, with a height of 3,000 meters and a weight of 25 million tons. The Crow King's name was not stated, so it will be called the Crow King. Note that it is not called the Bird King, which was a translation error, but rather the Crow King. The Crow King has a capture level equal to that of the Monkey King. Unlike Bambina though, the Crow King does not have a true form that can increase its capture level, meaning that it has the lowest capture level among the eight kings. However, it is not a crow to be trifled with. The Crow King's shadow is called the Shadow of Death, for no living creature can hope to live once the Crow King's shadow falls over it. Even if a creature tries to avoid the shadow, the Crow King can use Emperor Shadow, where it creates a miniature sun in its beak, casting shadows in all directions. Once caught in the shadow, a creature loses all sense of coherent thought, and is decimated by the energy from the miniature sun. The Crow King can also flap its wings and spread lethal poison into the air, killing any creatures that are in its vicinity. There is no clear connection between the Crow King and Acacia's full corpse. Area 3 contains Atom, which is Acacia's drink. Since Atom is highly poisonous and the Crow King can emit poison, it is possible that the Crow King is immune to Atom's poison. A possible name for the Crow King is Yatagarasu. In Japanese mythology, the Yatagarasu is a three-legged bird that is a symbol of guidance or divine intervention. Another idea for a name is Shade, since the Emperor Crow can create its own sun to form shadows that can decimate its enemies. It's slightly unclear if it's the shadows that can destroy its foes or the miniature sun itself. But either way, the Emperor Crow wields immense power, and it is likely that the miniature sun is formed from appetite energy, like other energy attacks that wild beasts can use. Like other wild beasts, the Crow King can also fire its gourmet energy in the form of energy blasts. Area 2 is ruled by Wolf King Guinness, with a capture level of 6550. The Wolf King is a mammal beast called a Battle Wolf, with a height of 55 meters and weight of 20,000 tons. Guinness is the head of a pack of Battle Wolves. Even in the dangerous gourmet world, Battle Wolves are known for their natural talent in combat and sharpened intuition that's inherited from their ancestors. Guinness has a second in command with a capture level of 6,090 that appears to lead the pack. It generally allows the younger number 2 to lead the pack while it watches from the shadows, unless it senses something incredible approaching, such as the arrival of God, which is Acacia's main course. Guinness's most impressive ability is its sense of smell. By using Guinness Search, it can instantly collect all information on any creature. This includes inorganic matter as well. When Guinness Search is used, the target's essence or soul is extracted from them and sucked towards Guinness, causing the target to become immobile. This opening allows Guinness to stamp on its foe with a single blow that is strong enough to knock back surrounding creatures tens of thousands of kilometers away. One slam attack made with its paw at full force is enough to create ripples across the surface of the planet. It can also use a version called Guinness Search Strong that can pull out the souls of even the most powerful enemies. Guinness can share information it has gathered on past targets with others through transmitting the information by peeing and putting the information in the smell of its urine. 
Guinness also possesses immense jaw strength that's enough to grab its foe and slam it down on the ground multiple times like a rag doll. Guinness adopted Knocking Master Jiro when he was a baby and fed him creatures called Red Nitros. After losing its upper right fang to Jiro in a fight, it is assumed that the Wolf King gave the fang to Jiro, for Jiro can use the fang for a move called Rising Wolf Guinness Punch, which can create a blast of energy from his fist that can extend into outer space. The name Guinness is likely a reference to the Guinness World Records that keeps records of the most extreme human achievements and natural phenomena that have occurred in the world. Area 1 is ruled by the Dragon King, with a capture level of 6590. The Dragon King is a pterosaur beast called the Deros, with a height of 4000 meters and weight of 80 million tons. Like other Deroses, the Dragon King has only a single fang. However, it is said that the Deros was able to conquer all of its opponents using that single fang, which is immensely sharp, making it an extremely valuable material for making kitchen knives. The Dragon King has the ability to shoot a beam called the Extradimensional Laser. It gathers energy from its multiple tongues and focuses them into a single ray of appetite energy or gourmet energy. This requires some time to charge, but once the laser has been fired, it has enough destructive force to blast through other planets in outer space. The extra-dimensional part of the name likely refers to the ability to reach outer space, or it could refer to the ability to possibly affect other dimensions like the back channel or the world of souls. The connection between the Dragon King and Acacia's full course is not fully clear. Center, or the hors d'oeuvre, or appetizer in Acacia's full course, was believed to be located in Area 1, but is actually located in Area 0. Area 0 is located 35,000 kilometers below the Earth's surface. Center is the source of cure water, or water that can heal injuries by activating gourmet cells. Cure water itself is located in the territory of the Deros, so it is possible that Deroses act as guardian beasts that watch over the cure water. One possible name for the Dragon King is Ladon, which is a dragon in Greek mythology that watches over the Garden of the Hesperides. One trivia is that Heracles was tasked with taking a golden apple from the tree that was guarded by Ladon as part of his twelve labors. Another idea for the Dragon King's name is Luminous, due to its ability to focus and fire destructive rays of light from its mouth. For better or for worse, mostly for the better, the Eight Kings were not shown in the Toriko anime. Personally, I believe the anime would not have been able to fully portray the epic and awe-inspiring power that the Eight Kings wield though they could have been given more chapters to explore their unique abilities and how they interact with their environments. I am grateful for what was shown of the Eight Kings in the Toriko manga. Thank you for watching.